Um, maybe my students can answer that one. Who are my favorite poets? Blake. Blake, yeah. Who else? Shelly. Shelly, yeah. <laughs> and my dad, of course, can answer. Any others? Actually, I have hundreds of favorite poets, but Robert? Sorry? Yeah, Milton, definitely. I know this sounds really old school. I like a lot of contemporary Canadian poets as well. I love P.K. Page, Leonard Cohen. Um, I love Yeats, T.S. Eliot. Oh, I, I, I don't often encounter poems that I'm not fond of. I go through phases too, like everyone uh, recently passed through a Don Mackay phase. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, I'd say if anyone shaped the way I see the world, probably the English romantic poets like Shelley, Wordsworth, Keats. Any other questions? Yeah? Where do you see the uh, romantic spirit in contemporary poetry? Or do you? I do, actually. I see it everywhere. Um, it's, it's funny, you know, there's a... Only one. There's a, something interesting happening in Canadian poetry right now, and it's maybe something that's always been happening, that sort of schism between romantic and classic, or, you know, I don't know, lyric East Coast versus uh, Pomo West Coast, and I like all of it, you know, I love Daphne Marlad and, and George Bowery, and, but I definitely uh, resonate more with the, the romantic lyric tradition, so, so yeah, I think it's alive and kicking, there are a lot of a lot of great romantic poets, like romanticism is not going to go anywhere, right? It was probably around in the Middle Ages. And so it's not really just a period, right? It's a, it's a way of seeing the world. Does that really answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Is there a politics to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Radical, rebellious politics. <laughs> Anti-authoritarian. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I would think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, we're in the middle of an election campaign, I'm going to preach politics right now, but I, I do love politics like Blake and Shelley and those guys. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. How different is it to hear your poetry performed with music? Oh, I love music, and I think uh, most poems could use a sharing, you know, <laughs> really, um, most poems could use some beautiful music to, to set them off. I, I think that... Uh, Music is a more universal language than poetry. Um, poetry really speaks to a certain literate group of people, but everybody loves music. So. Well, that's why we love Leonard Cohen. Yeah, right? yeah, he, he, he managed to do both, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Joe? Oh, that, that was great, by the way. Thank you. Um, are, do you find uh, you're more moved to write a poem by uh, the vision of some, seeing something or hearing? Like, does music, yeah. when you hear music, does that lead you to write poetry? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, both for sure, but I think I'm more your minded than I minded. So uh, often there's a rhythm or a sound or a, a phrase that starts things off. But but yeah, both both happen. Sometimes if I'm scrounging for a poem, I'll find it visually. But if the poem just comes to me, it'll come to me orally. Yes. Poetry ever be successfully translated? Can I quote Shelley? Shelley says, translating poetry is like throwing a violet into a crucible. <laughs> Absolutely. <no. laughs> um, yeah, it's a different poem. I mean, my dad will talk to, he knows uh, Beowulf, like the poem of his hand, and Seamus Haney's Beowulf isn't really Beowulf. It's Seamus Shamus Haney's own gorgeous poem inspired by Beowulf. And I think the best translations are that they're they're gorgeous poems inspired by an original. But kinda hard to put anything into a different language. There still has to be, you know, anyone speak Italian, we, we still don't have the great poet to translate Dante's Divine Comedy. We're still waiting for that one. So any other questions? I have a comment. Yeah. Um, your words are beautiful. They're fleshy. <laughs> They're evocative. Thank you. They're just gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Almost a lover. Almost a friend. Almost a beginning. Almost an end. I was... I was almost something.